duration of the examination is 180 minutes. The time duration of the examination is 180 minutes. It's a three hour paper, 60 questions. And yes, so some of you are asking that, sir, is it a good idea to scan through the entire paper? This I tell to everyone for each and every paper. And yes, it is an amazing idea to do this. What is the idea? The idea is <clears throat> there are three sections. Scan each and every question of each and every section. So get hold of a piece of paper, write down one, two, three, up to 60. Okay. And then just take a look at the uh, question in 10 seconds time at max. In 10 seconds time at max, identify whether the question is easy, medium or difficult for you. So an easy for you might be a difficult for me, vice versa. So please don't uh, rely on someone else. Ki, Achha, aapne e kya mark kiya hai, aapne d kya mark kiya hai. It should be your choice that question number one for me is easy. Second is M. Third is M. Fourth is D. Fifth is E. Sixth is D. So on and so forth. Aisa karke 60 questions tak mark EMD. Okay. And then do the E's one first. Do the medium second. And given time, attempt the D's last. See, you should be able to identify out of the 60 questions around 30 questions as E. So you would have already ensured very close uh, to the cutoff by your E questions. And once you have solved your E's confidently and your confidence is good, you will automatically be able to score and answer your N questions. Okay, it will really help you. And your confidence will be sky high. Automatically, you will be able to answer your M. Now, in order to do this entire exercise, it will take you maximum 10 to 12 minutes. So, out of the 180 minutes that you have, you invest 10 to 12 minutes left with 170 minutes. And you have already analyzed EMD. Now, the questions that are easy for you will take you maximum one minute to solve. And you get supposing 30 E's. So you spend 30 minutes and solve all the E's. How many minutes are you left with? 140 minutes. You yet have two hour 20 minute and you have already ensured that you are close to the cutoff. This sounds extremely optimistic, sir. Kya bol rahe Do ghanta 20 minute baki hai. And I have already completed and I'm almost close to the cutoff. Can this happen? A big yes, a big yes. Every year, the top uh, students have done this. You can speak to each and every student who has actually qualified for IIT Jam. They have followed this. Very few people at EduSure have not followed it. Okay, so all the successful candidates do this. They do the E's first, then they do the M's, and then if they have the time, then they go into D. Now, what happens as a result is, I know that I have two hour 20 minutes. I have already completed half of the paper. My confidence will be sky high. I have already ensured that I'm already close to the cutoff. Given a high confidence, your mental frame of mind will enable you to do your M's as well. You will be able to identify approximately 15 M's out of the 60. That will take you approximately two minutes each, 30 minutes more. Let's be pessimistic. Chalo bhai, 90 minutes hi bacha. 90 minutes is also half time is left out of the 180 minutes. You already have 90 minutes left and you've done three fourths of the paper. Fir, di aapka banta hai ya nahi banta hai, you will be confident. You will be under no pressure. And many ye dekha ki D bhi banne lag jate hai, as a result, because uh, ultimately it's a confidence game. Confidence aapke andar mein hai, so D automatically ho jayega. Around 50% of the questions will be E in any examination, even in IIT jam. 50%. 50% aapko sunne mein bhoti zada lag raha hai. But look at a paper, analyze a paper. You'll notice that if your preparation is good, 50% E can be identified very easily. Answer. So this is what you should be doing. Now, if someone is not convinced, but sir, I will spend 10-12 minutes in this minute. It's good to directly hi kyun solve it. Achha, let me solve serially question number one ko karenge pehle, question number two ko karenge, question number uh, uh, three ko karenge, so on and so forth. Aisa kyun nahi? Let me share what has happened to so many students in the past. 
दीज एग्जामिनर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली स्मार्ट पहले वाले क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट रखते हुए the ending questions they keep it easy now supposing one is m two and three are difficult questions okay pehla wala aapne kiya aapko laga 2 se 3 minute ho gaya second wala question mein you went it's a difficult question for you you're not very comfortable uh, with the topic okay aapko 10 minute laga 15 minute laga and you have not been able to solve this frustrate hokar you skip this then you go into the third question third question is also a difficult question again you spent 10 to 15 minutes aur iska answer bhi nahi nikla डिफिकल्ट 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 और आधा घंटा ऑफ द पेपर निकल गया एंड आई हैव नॉट सॉल्व एनी क्वेश्चन नाउ इमेजिन इन एन आईआईटी जैम एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन हाफ एन आर हैज गॉन एंड यू हैव नॉट सॉल्व एनी क्वेश्चन हाउ विल योर कॉन्फिडेंस बी योर कॉन्फिडेंस विल बी सो लो कि आप ये करेंगे 4 टू द पावर ऑफ 0 इज इक्वल टू 4 ये सब मिस्टेक्स आप करेंगे इट हैज हैपेंड विद मी इन अ कंपैरेटिव एग्जामिनेशन आल्सो यू आर नॉट द ओनली वन but fortunately i learned from my mistake and i learned that mai ye mistake kabhi nahi karunga i will analyze the paper first i will only do the easier ones first jo mere liye easy hai wahi mai sabse pehle karunga so doing it seriously has a huge disadvantage what if you spend 30 minutes 45 minutes and you're not able to solve anything yet in the paper and your confidence goes so low that ultimately you get a negative score happened to you in the past there are about 1500 students who have got a negative score in examinations in the past okay about 30% of the students regularly used to get negative scores in dsc okay so that happens all the time you can do bnc first also that's up to you but you will have to attend the entire paper so please analyze the entire paper first and then you can shuffle between each and every section that's not at all an issue it's a computer based examination you can shuffle you can go into the uh, second in the third section then go back to the first it's absolutely fine you can do that so this is how you will attempt the paper okay this attempting the paper also applies to iit gate so iit gate may 65 questions and you are supposed to do the same thing emd do the e first then the m and then the d 